started? I'm not sure how to start it. <laughs> so, this is an idea of which we came up with a while ago. We like to call the briefcase. The point of this is uh, everyone has a briefcase, and inside it is evidence incriminating of the crime that the other person did. At which point, the whole objective of this video is he does not know what's in my briefcase, and I do not know what's in his briefcase. But what is in each briefcase is a crime that the other person has committed. We have to make the other person laugh. That is the objective of this game. Any way possible. And now, without further ado, here is the briefcase. Hey, you feeling tropical today? Cause I'm feeling tropical. A little bit. I bet you're wondering why we brought you in here today. Absolutely. Well, first things first, I'm gonna need you to put on this turkey. All right. What were you doing Thanksgiving of last year, 2015? Probably uh, eating some dinner with my family. Exactly. Thus, why we have this can of pinto beans we found from the crime. And we all know you like beans, don't you? I love them. It's my weakness. You're disgusting. Do you remember these gloves? No, I don't. I'm gonna put them on so you remember them. And we all know you wear your gloves reverse. We have the same hand size. Kind of weird. Put the gloves on. All right. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was putting them on the correct way. Put them on reverse. Does this hammer look good? Not particularly. Good because my own case. I was testing you. Well, there you go. Thanksgiving, 2015. You killed a whole family, didn't you? Because you knew this family liked nut shots. Thus, why you put ping pong balls in their throats and made them spit them back out at each other. Kind of a sick game of ping pong, isn't it? A half eaten chocolate melted bunny. The family's favorite. Your favorite. I recall a video of you last year at Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, eating all the chocolate bunnies. And we just happened to find one of them at the crime. Real fishy. Doesn't mean anything. I guess not. What about this baked potato? Does this not mean anything? It could very well just fit up the, the next thing you do. Take your time to All right. Playing hard. Playing hard to get, are you? <clears throat> what about these two pieces of toast? Is this garlic bread? Does it smell like garlic bread to you? It does. Do you like garlic bread? I'm allergic to garlic. Then it's funny why they're not eaten when everything else has bites out of it, including this banana with a condom around it. That is broken. Disgusting. Who puts a condom on a banana and breaks it? Disgusting. D absolutely just disgusting. We know how you clean up the mess. It was this mop and shine, wasn't it? We know the family doesn't buy cleaning products because they're all natural. They use spit. They're Mormons. I actually don't know what that has to do with cleaning. But I read it once in an article. There's this mouse pad. Use that to dry up the mess once you cleaned it. I'm sure this isn't just a black shamwell. And last but not least, a piece of chewed gum down from the crab of your DNA all over. Now here's what I suspect. I think you walked into that house and saw that they had beans, your favorite. And you were upset because you didn't get beans that day. 
So what you did, you took your ping pong balls and started throwing them at them while wearing the cup because you knew that they would go for your nuts. But they didn't because you had a whole bag of baked potatoes. At which point, you begin to throw baked potatoes because they were expecting ping pong balls. And everyone knows when you're expecting a ping pong ball, you cannot block a baked potato. At which point, you brought out your banana, put a condom on it, and did work on this poor family enjoying their Thanksgiving dinner. And then you enjoyed a nice chocolate bunny to enjoy your mess. Wow, you cleaned it up with your mop and shine and chewed your bubble gum. And I know your true identity. You are the Thanksgiving Turkey Gobbler. I'd like to speak with my lawyer. I didn't expect that question. I'll go fetch you a lawyer. Look at that big potato. Good day. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did making it. If you want to see the other half of this video, click this link right here. It'll take you to Nick's channel. You can enjoy some funny videos. Um, for more videos, go ahead and like and subscribe, and you'll probably see more here soon. Case closed. All right.